the difference between knowledge and wisdom is number 1 most of your sufferings originate from ignorance so therefore of course you have to knowledge okay so that knowledge has to be now done through a systematic process first you listen to your teacher or read a book we normally call it listening to the teaching and that is important but that is not enough it's really like somebody who is thirsty and you know have no idea where water is available so you need to get the information from somebody saying that water is available 2 kilometers from here so that is hearing listening that is very important but just by hearing that your thirst will not be quenched so therefore you need to walk 2 kilometers so that means like after hearing just like walking for 2 kilometers you need to think for yourself the truth of what you have heard from your teacher or what you read in the books so through reflection thinking you are able to develop that conviction yes it really seems true you know you are able to get that conviction so which is very very important so it's really like walking 2 kilometers and having reached near the water and you are able to now see the water but still if you don't drink the water your thirst will not be quenched so similarly you have developed that conviction through thinking but now you need to get completely soaked into it that conviction you have to get completely habituated with that repeatedly so that it becomes part of your way of thinking your way of action so that we call meditation so that's what i said in the beginning meditation is getting habituated you see so if you are habituated then compassion will come automatically you know or uh, loving kindness will come automatically because it's part of your thinking you see so therefore the difference between knowledge and wisdom i would say that uh, knowledge is not necessarily based on deep experience not necessary but meditation is really really very much related to deep experiences